here guys and today we're talking about the fp cycle prototype five number johnny five come on johnny five that's right this is the latest freestyle frame by kebab over at fpv cycle and there are some really noticeable improvements or at least points of evolution over time if you compare it to something like uh, his last freestyle frame, which is the Glide. This is a special edition you saw on the channel very recently. Um, but look how much thinner that is if you look at both of the bottoms. Um, and you save a lot of weight, and that's because he's purposefully built this around modern components, specifically the DJI system, but it will work perfectly good with analog as well. Uh, another notable difference on these two frames is not only do you have this very thin um, shaped bottom plate, you have this long sandwich plate right here that really helps you to get absolutely no arm wiggle. And the design of these arms, instead of like kind of straight or actually kind of a straight and then an elbow, that means you have a longer portion that are butting up against each other like this. Um, and you have two screws though still that holds them in place. One, two, one, two. And there's absolutely zero room for this um, to ever wiggle. And you can get a little bit um, better on the tolerances to make that. The other nice thing is you have a super robust camera cage made out of carbon right here that is held in place. Uh, and it kind of sits on this bottom plate so that you don't have to have the bottom plate run all the way up to the front. Uh, it's held on with this little mounted piece right here. Now what that does is it eliminates various sections of carbon and gets this freestyle full size five inch frame all the way down to a weight of about 110 grams or less once you have everything up in here. Now how does it get that light weight? Um, Part of the thing is that you have only five standoffs going vertically and then you have one going horizontally. Um, that gives you still the same amount of rigidity and strength, but by having a place for only one standoff in the center and by elongating it, you still achieve, you still achieve, as you can see, a very similar amount of arm separation. So by shrinking the amount of carbon and lowering the weight, they have not shrank the footprint. Now, why that's significant is you still want that nice spacious amount of room between all of the props so that it's going to fly very smoothly. Um, you have your, you know, if you've seen his latest uh, freestyle frames, you know, there's less holes, um, sort of less styling going on everything is purpose built you have your strap holes right here that hold your straps on um, the other thing i like and that's the reason i have this toothpick um, style board on here is you have three selections of mounting holes 20 by 20 30 by 30 and the baby bear just in the middle that's just right, your toothpick board. Now why is this significant? Because you they are building beefier and beefier um, toothpick boards out on the market. This one is the Hi-Fi on RC 45 amp. So I'm gonna put that to the test. I'm gonna run this on some 6S motors with 6S batteries and see if it incinerates. Um, so I wanted to demonstrate just how nice it looks with that toothpick style board on there. One thing that I don't especially love, now this may be changed in the final design, is that the mounting holes for the toothpick board and the 20x20 20 20 are M2. And so I, a lot of times I'll run something like a Talon stack in 20x20 20 20, and that's M3. Now if I wanted to use a Mamba stack, that's M2, that would work totally fine. And you know, it's not the end of the world using an M3 stack. The Mamba does come with those little threaded inserts, so it would work just fine. I mean, on the Talon, it would work just fine if I use those threaded inserts, but um, I figured this would be a great opportunity to test this. So I've already started wiring this up. Take a look in there at this bottom plate. Uh, <laughs> the design work that's gone into this is, I feel like he's getting less and less about flair and more and more about just getting everything functional. The minimum amount of design work that gives you the highest return on your design investment. And so the shift is going towards lighter weight without sacrificing any frame arm wiggle. 
I mean, I would guess that as far as individual arms um, go on a frame, this is probably the best solution that I've seen um, for getting you something that's gonna fly more like a single plate, right? Because we always want that single plate um, flight feel with the versatility and durability options of being able to swap out an arm. And this is really a spectacular compromise in that direction. Of course, there's a couple of different design options that you can download. Some people are printing um, things for this as far as optional accessories. I believe there's an arm guard that you can print out and you can also buy some GoPro mounts and other things directly from the FPV cycle store, such as your Vista antenna mount at the back. So really cool frame design option. I'm gonna get this thing built up and we're gonna do a full review of this thing in flight. And again, stay tuned for that because that's where we're gonna put this Hi-Fi on our C toothpick board, 45 amps. Is it really 45 amps? We're gonna test that here. Stay tuned. Thanks guys.